Let me clarify. This interview from Kylian Mbappé is not meaning that he's not going to join Real Madrid. We know that Real Madrid are working to sign Kylian Mbappé since last summer. We know that Kylian Mbappé knows about Real Madrid's interest. He loves the opportunity uh, to play one day for Real Madrid and there are huge and good chances to see Real Madrid signing Kylian Mbappé in summer 2022. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel from Fabrizio Romano. Today together to talk about transfer stories, football stories as always. And guys, today it's time to talk and update and go behind the scenes of all the latest and in particular the latest of this boy, Kylian Mbappé, because he did an interview in the last few hours with Prime Video Friends to speak about his future, to speak about Paris Saint-Germain contract, about Real Madrid, and so let's jump into it. And so guys, in this interview, Kylian Mbappé said in public on the questions about the rumors we had on deadline day about Kylian Mbappé already signing a contract with Real Madrid starting, of course, from next season, 2022-2023, Kylian Mbappé's answer was no, I have not made any decision on my future because playing against Real Madrid could change many things. He also said, I'm only focused on a Champions League game with Real Madrid, on winning a Champions League game with Real Madrid, and then we will see what happens, but I'm not kind of person who is negotiating with the club we're gonna face in Champions League. So this is what you know, Kylian Mbappé wanted to say. I would wanted to say, I want to be respectful with the club. This is the message from Kylian Mbappé. This is the sense of his interview. Let me clarify, this interview from Kylian Mbappé is not meaning that he's not going to join Real Madrid. We know that Real Madrid are working to sign Kylian Mbappé since last summer. We know that Kylian Mbappé knows about Real Madrid's interest. He loves the opportunity uh, to play one day for Real Madrid and there are huge and good chances to see Real Madrid signing Kylian Mbappé in summer 2022. But before saying it's signed, it's done and it's here we go, we have to wait and see the paperwork, the contracts really signed by Kylian Mbappé because we're talking about top clubs like Paris Saint-Germain and Real Madrid and because we're talking about one of the best players in the world, if not the best, like Kylian Mbappé. So we have to be respectful and to wait when things are really done to say that it's a done deal. This is the message from Kylian Mbappé, saying I have not signed any contract, means I'm not going to disrespect Paris Saint-Germain completing the process to General Madrid in February. This is something that Kylian Mbappé doesn't want to do. And this is the reality. Mbappé doesn't want to sign now, take a final decision now, because he wants to be respectful with Paris Saint-Germain. This is what he always said. This is why Kylian Mbappé wanted to leave last summer to make Paris Saint-Germain able to receive some money from Real Madrid and not to leave as a free agent. So he wanted to respect PSG. This is what he always said. But at the same point, signing now with Real Madrid a few weeks and days before the Champions League super clash between PSG and Real Madrid would be disrespectful and would create a big problem. Also, not speaking in public about Real Madrid, Real Madrid dream, Real Madrid future is smart on Kylian Mbappé's side. Why? Because Paris Saint-Germain were really furious in the last months about Real Madrid behavior with people into the club, from the president, manager, people around Real Madrid speaking about Kylian Mbappé. Leonardo said a few months ago that they were not happy with Real Madrid behavior. So Kylian Mbappé interviews and interviews from Real Madrid side about Kylian Mbappé joining Real Madrid in summer 2022 were not appreciated by PSG and could be a big problem for the negotiation. This is why Kylian Mbappé is no longer speaking about his Real Madrid dream and this is the same that Real Madrid are doing. Of course, they're working to sign Kylian Mbappé, but they are not speaking in public because they don't want to have a big public fight with Paris Saint-Germain, of course, but in particular before the key Champions League game. So in this moment, it's all part of a strategy. For sure, Real Madrid are working to sign Mbappé. For sure, Real Madrid will try and push to complete everything in the coming months. But at the same point, we have to wait for the contracts to be signed and at the moment are not signed yet. We have to see what will be Paris Saint-Germain decision because they want to push till the last day to change Kylian Mbappé's mind. But also at the same point, we know that behind these words, there is also part of the strategy. Be quiet, be calm, focus on Champions League game, focus on Paris Saint-Germain and then take your decision and then take your public decision. This is the message. It's not, I'm not going to Real Madrid. It's, it's not the moment to talk about it. And Kylian Mbappé knows why and he wants to be respectful with Paris Saint-Germain till the last day. Also, if the last day will be at the end of May and then he will join Real Madrid, he wants to be respectful and then 
want to, to become a new Real Madrid player. So guys, this is what there is behind this interview. Everything is part, of course, of a public strategy. It's so important to have good relationships or normal relationships to not have any future problem for this story. So this is why PSG, Real Madrid and Mbappé know so well what's happening and we have to wait to see and say that everything is completed for the future of Kylian Mbappé. And so guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I wait for you as always. I'm reading you. Let me know your opinion. What do you think about these words for Mbappé? Where he's going to end up in the next season? And I also wait for your ideas, uh, your comments. As always, guys, remember to subscribe to my channel to have all the updates and all the stories every single day here on Fabrizio Romano YouTube channel. Remember to turn on the notification bell to like this video. See you soon. Ciao. Thank you.